Hey everyone, Wesley Merton here to announce our 21st annual year-end tagging awards to recipients for participation in the Dolphin Fish Research Program during 2021. And just a quick recap on our 2021 performance metrics, we distributed 5,314 tags and 461 kits to 378 anglers in 11 nations. In total, 1,896 fish were tagged and 42 new movements were generated. We deployed 16 satellite tags on dolphin fish within the Eastern Tropical Pacific Ocean and the Western Central Atlantic Ocean. We also deployed two satellite tags on Wahoo within the Mona Passage off the West Coast of Puerto Rico. When you add our 2021 effort to our program history, anglers participating in the Dolphin Fish Research Program have tagged over 30,891 dolphin fish, of which 754 have been recaptured. And at the least, this participation was through 1,853 unique vessels and 5,402 taggers. Pretty phenomenal. So now on to the awards. First off, a big thank you goes out to Star Rods for continuing their support of our 2021 year-end tagging awards. Also, we'd like to thank Costa Del Mar for stepping up their support for our 2021 year-end tagging awards program. And also, you know, the Guy Harvey Ocean Foundation, AFCO, and SiriusXM Marine all provided awards for our 2021 award recipients. We are grateful to have these companies provide added incentives to anglers to get out on the water and tag small dolphin fish. And you know, the rules are pretty straightforward. To qualify for an award, all you have to do is tag and release at least 20 dolphin fish, and then you're in the running for up to 12 different award categories. For more information about our awards program, you can visit beyondourshores.org slash awards. So who won? The top private boat award goes to Captain Don Gates and the Killing Time 2 fishing team, who tagged 428 dolphin fish in 2021. This is the most that their fishing team has ever tagged in one calendar year. Um, of those fish, 16 went on to be recaptured along the U.S. East Coast, with the maximum dispersal up to the Mid-Atlantic Bite in 81 days. Congratulations, Killing Time 2. For their effort, they'll win a star fishing rod and a pair of Costa Del Mar sunglasses. The second top private boat award goes to Captain Tim Heiser for tagging and releasing 72 dolphin fish aboard his vessel named Irish Wake. Of those fish, three went on to be recovered, with one of those fish being recaptured off North Carolina 130 days after it was tagged. Captain Heiser won a new fishing rod from Star Rods. In the charter boat category, the Thomas Flyer, based out of Miami, Florida, won with 167 dolphin fish tagged, of which one went on to be recovered. Their recovered fish was recovered off of West Palm Beach after 205 days at Liberty and represents another example of a return migrant to the Florida Straits. Their fish grew 19 inches while at Liberty. The Thomas Flyer won a pair of Costa Del Mar sunglasses. In the top boat in the South Atlantic Bike category, fishing team Wham Jam won with 146 tag deployments off the lower and upper keys, of which one fish went on to be recovered after two days at Liberty. But this adds another short-term movement recovery to our Florida Keys movement database. Team Wham Jam won a new pair of sunglasses from Costa Del Mar, as well as a signed lithograph called Dolphin Oasis from Guy Harvey. The second place boat in the South Atlantic bike category goes to Captain Dane Dellenbach for tagging releasing 46 dolphin fish aboard his vessel, Naughty Secrets. While none of Captain Dellenbach's fish were recovered, his tag releases still established great outing reports, size frequency and habitat information, as well as aided in the conservation of the species in 2021. For his efforts in 2021, Captain Dane Dellenbach will receive a new fishing rod from Star Rods. In the tropical boat category, for the second year in a row, Captain Gary Marshall won with 90 tag deployments aboard Wind Down around the island of Barbados. While none of Wind Down's fish were captured, it's going to happen at some point and reveal some needed information about dolphin fish in this part of the Lesser Antilles. The Wind Down fishing team won a Costa Del Mar prize pack, including a pair of sunglasses and one of their backpacks. The second place winner in the tropical boat category goes to vessel Sandman for tagging and releasing 75 dolphin fish just off Punta Cana, of which six went on to be recaptured. These recoveries provided the first dolphin fish movement and catch dynamic data for dolphin fish released and recovered within Dominican Republic country waters. For their efforts, they won a star fishing rod. And last but not least, our two special awards for the top two captains associated with the scouts on Summerland Key. Captain Chase Benedict led his fishing team to tag and release 101 dolphin fish, which resulted in two recoveries. And Captain Brian Gilmore tagged and released 82 dolphin fish, of which three went on to be recovered. Captain Benedict won a pair of Costa Del Mar sunglasses, and Captain Gilmore won a star fishing rod. 
And last but not least, during our 2021 fall fundraising campaign, we mentioned that anyone that donated to our campaign, either by making a donation or through purchasing a tagging kit or program apparel, would be entered into a drawing to win this Guy Harvey lithograph entitled Depth Charge. And after running a random drawing among the 55 donors during our fall fundraising campaign, Chris Mack of Maryland came out the victor and the lucky recipient of this beautiful piece of artwork. So congratulations, Chris Mack. Thank you very much for your support of our tagging program, as well as all of our donors that support the work that we do. So congratulations to all of these award winners, as well as the dozens of anglers that we have shipped out free shirts, many prints from Guy Harvey, and AFCO tackle gear for submitting recapture reports or winning monthly tagging awards. We are proud to run this program for many reasons, but really enjoy awarding our participants for helping to advance data collection on this species. Because as we all know, across the board, more data collection is needed on this extremely important fish and fishery. Thank you very much for your time and thank you very much for your support and participation in our tagging program.